Okay, well, I just made it to, I think you guys know Charlie, his house. I'm friends with his parents. My wife is here, my kids are here, and it's the Super Bowl today. And um, we're gonna all get on a go-kart, have a bonfire, maybe watch the game, but uh, but I'm here to catch moles, actually. Woohoo! super hard to catch a mole. There are so many leaves on the ground, so many um, these hard shell nuts. And it's very hard to walk quietly. Um, there's, there are a ton of kids over here and they're running around um, playing. They keep coming by me. And as you know, moles can sense your footsteps, they can feel the vibrations, and um, I don't think I'm going to see anything moving. Well, <laughs> the sun's going to be down in a half hour. And there is just no chance of me getting a mole with these people driving a go-kart. All over the place. I mean, just forget it. Oh, left hook. Oh. Hey, I'm out looking for moles to catch I'm here um, at my uh, my parents' other neighbor's home. Do you wanna take me tonight? Okay, I'm at my aunt's house, my mom's sister. Well, I just got to my sister's house. Okay, I have not had moles in my own yard since last year during the spring and summer. And um, right now we're in the uh, middle of March, I'm sorry, middle of February. I decided to take a walk around my little tiny yard. And yes, hey, I see mole tunnels. Check it out. So it goes from all the way over there to all the way back here. So I'm gonna step on the tunnels and then, get over here. I'm gonna step on the tunnels and then come back and check on them. Getting late today, but I'll come out here tomorrow. So I just woke up. I stepped outside in my front yard and the mole has already been back and he tore up everything that he tore up last night. I'm stepping on the tunnels and I'll check on it later. You. Oh man, I left for three hours. I come home and that mole tore everything up again. Everything I stepped on, it's all up again. It's like the freaking blighter knows when I leave. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, I just stepped off my front porch. I see a mole moving. Will I get it? I don't know. I'm squeezing him really hard. He's he's really pushing on my hand. But um, wow. Um, I've been looking all morning up and down this sidewalk here, and about three houses down, there's been mole activity, but not not directly in front of my house. And uh, I just so happened to see him, and I uh, can't believe I caught him. It's really cool because it's in my own yard. And he won't be messing my yard up anymore, will ya? That's right. That's right. Let's get a good look at him here. All right, buddy. Wow, look at you. Wow. What's up, everyone? Just got in my car. I got the molar with me. I'm gonna go relocate the blighter. Well, I'm sitting here editing my video and I could not find the footage where I release the mole. Um, I know I did it. Me walking down into the woods and me taking it out of the bucket and putting it in the dirt, but I do not have the footage. About a week ago, I was trying to find more room on my camera card and I started erasing a bunch of videos and I think I probably erased the footage. But just know that I did release the blighter and I did not kill it. I just don't have the footage of it. I erased it. Sorry about that. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.